we are using raspberry pi and uh, lora module ra01 as a uh, packet forwarder which forwards the lora packet received by it and um, to the things network as a lora node we are using uh, stm32 and uh, ra01 module here i also customized module which interface ra02 and a gps to the stm32 microcontroller this is the basic architecture of the things network in my understanding uh, here we are using a virtual gateway actually they provide a physical gateway also you can check their website so you can buy the physical gateway so we are using here uh, virtual gateway now we are set up our lora gateway and uh, lora application then we register a device to the things network which will then send data from node to things network so go to your browser search for the things network then it will find out this things network website so here you can see how many gateways are created in the uh, this countries like india so here uh, i already have the register my gateway it will reflect after four to five hours on this map so here is my old gateway location so go to the console here you can see there are two options one is application other is gateway so it is basic interfacing of this things network first you have to create gateway then the gateway will send data to application so i connect my raspberry pi through vcn vnc viewer so here is my uh, physical raspberry pi uh, screen so open command prompt and first we have to install uh, uh, some libraries and uh, then we will install our uh, get, uh, packet forwarder so first we need a wiring pi library so install it by this command so here i already have the wiring pi library installed on my raspberry raspberry pi so it is saying that it's already installed so next thing is we have to copy the single channel packet forwarder which simply forward lora packets to the things network gateway so i just uh, i need to give this command here a git clone so it's i already have this folder i need to remove this so just i am removing my old folder now i give the command to clone the repo so repo is cloning after cloning this repo you can see the folder is created here so navigate to the folder here you can see the important files we require so next thing we need to modify a main dot cpp file so open it with any editor which you prefer i use nano so the next thing here you can configure the your packet forwarder like server then the port then the other uh, description email address and frequency of the single channel you are using then you can configure you need to configure lat long of your packet forwarder and also server url so for changing server url you have to replace this uh, line this is the latest server url for things network so just uh, replace this line So now we go to find out our latitude and lo longitude from Google map. So visit open Google map. Here uh, locate your, lo uh, find out your location. Then if I click on this my mar home marker, then I will, I can get the latitude longitude here, but it's uh, you can also copy this from URL. So I just get, extract it from my URL. So copy it and paste it here. So 
similarly copy latitude and longitude so next uh, is uh, altitude so you can put here whatever your altitude said axis is i put here 18 and now it's all done you can also enter this information but it's optional so just save the file by pressing ctrl x now we have to compile this file so give a command make the file will get compiled now you can see here the output file which is uh, executable is created so we just run it so here our raspberry pi gateway uh, pocket packet forward started we need this information for entering in uh, things the things network website so copy the gateway id go to things network website now register your gateway so here you need to put your gateway id so select first check this checkbox i am using legacy packet forwarder paste it and enter the description it's a optional field but i am entering it so now you you have to choose a frequency plan i am using a frequency from european so either you can choose india or europe but indian frequency plan will not work so you need to change some settings in your uh, node so i choose europe so here is a nearest router so i choose asia which is a uh, near means uh, india is lies to asia continent so i choose asia router so next thing is choose your uh, gateway location so it is my indoor gateway indoor antenna so i just select and register gateway so here is your gateway is created so these packets are now uh, sent directly sent to the gateway it's i it's having some interval like uh, 30 second or one minutes so it will update the gateway by sending the uh, connection packets so here you can see the last scene is a uh, uh, time so it's uh, 20 seconds so now we are creating the application so go to add application enter your application name it should be unique for the things network website if it will uh, it will identical then it will show you error so I choose this name next thing you have to choose a handler basically i choose this handler it is it work for me so the handler is Ash, uh, ttn handler asia so i choose the handler now create application here you can see notification application is created so here are the device which you registered under this application so now create a new device so device id here is a name of the human readable name for the device so i just uh, enter test tracker one and click this symbol then the device ui will be automatic generated now click on register device so here is your device under the application and this device tracker one so here you can change the setting of the device so basically there are two methods of activation i choose abp which uh, works on a session parameters so here is frame counter it's a uh, you can untick this if you are uh, you developing your device so this three important parameter you can use for uh, your session active session activation so i am going to my uh, stm32 workbench where i uh, created this program which is simply send the dummy data so it is main application under that main application you can see 
these parameters are used by our software to our uh, firmware to configure so you can just copy this from the things network and paste it like this the device address it should be in 32 uh, 32 bit uh, number so just copy network session key paste it here it's not compulsory that it should be in a LSB format copy as it is then the app session key now we copy all the three parameters so basically it is a uh, this is a LoRa IBM uh, I, this is a LoRa stack which is uh, designed by the IBM Zurich laboratory so I just ported this to the work for a STM32 controller so this is a program is uh, copied from the Arduino uh, library which is a LMAC Arduino library this is the program which is under uh, TTN ABP which is uh, a uh, work on session parameter so I just uh, copy this program in a STM32 workbench so it will work as like work on Arduino so this is a main function which sends the data after some interval do send here it is so it's uh, we set this uh, after particular interval to send this sends a my data here they have put a hello world uh, in my program I have changed it uh, with some dummy latitude and longitude so this is my data and here is a dummy data so you can update this by uh, taking the GPS lat long from LAT or any other GPS model so how I set up this uh, I just created it is a cube MX software for STM32 which, uh, which is a easy code generator so I just uh, configure some GPIOs for LoRa and uh, RSX 171276 interfacing. This is a unused pin, but I just interface it for later use. So the configuration is like uh, G I use the GPIOs, simple GPIOs. Then uh, con uh, configure uh, UART then uh, interrupts are configured like this line 0 2 and 3 so uh, I am using 3 pins for controlling SX 1276 uh, so I use timer 4 uh, which generate the 32 kilohertz frequency for uh, incrementing the tick for a LoRa stack so this is the configuration for the timer In connectivity section, I use SPI and uh, UART work on a uh, 115200 baud rate. This is a clock configuration. CPU runs on a uh, 720 megahertz, and also timers, uh, timers, bus also run on the 32 megahertz. So this is uh, just in generate code for it. So let's compile our code. Then uh, load this code into the STM32 controller. Is ignore this error. Ignore this error also because there is a already a session going on. So just run the program. So wait for the package is transferred from stm32 node just for let's seek of verify just check the code is running in the os main loop if it's running so just see that the package is arriving you can check a log which is sent on a debug port so here it is so we got our first packet here so let's check 
this data is uh, base 64 encoded so let's check that we receive data here is no any data so let's check wait for the another packet to be sent so we will check that package is received by gateway or not so wait for it to say receive any packets on a raspberry pi so here it is next packet we receive so let's check on the gateway here you can see the packet is received by the gateway so now it's time to check this packet on a application so open application then the device and go to data tab so here is no any data so might be the first frame is missed here the two packets are get sent so you can see the device received two packets so we missed one packet here so let's check the time so it's so this this packet here is a uh, received by gateway so this payload is not your actual payload it's contains some other information also so we don't need this payload so actual your data and some extra additional information is received here at gateway so your actual data is received by the device so here this extra information also received with your payload this is your actual payload which is a uh, we sent from the stm32 from where which is dummy data latitude longitude so this is our payload but it is not in a readable format so we can convert it in readable format so we need a decoder function so basic decoder function is used by this program we just convert the bytes into uh, character so just copy this decoder function now go to your uh, application here you can see payload formats so go to decoder and uh, replace this function with our copied function so here it is then test we can test our payload so just copy that payload open another tab go to your device go to your registered devices go to your data so sometimes the data will get automatically erased so wait for the another data frame to be received So the we receive a one single packet. We copy this payload and uh, put it in the uh, payload section and then click on test. So here you get your original data, which is uh, encapsulated. So this is your actual data.